We're going to explain how to install a Wi-Fi driver on a Gigabyte B550 Aorus Elite V2 motherboard. This process might vary slightly depending on your operating system, Windows 10 or 11 for example, but the general steps remain the same. First, you need to identify your Wi-Fi adapter. Gigabyte B550, Aorus Elite. Five 2 motherboards usually don't have built-in Wi-Fi. You'll likely have a separate Wi-Fi adapter, either a PCIe card or a USB adapter. 1. Finding your Wi-Fi adapter. Check your motherboard's manual or the physical device itself for the manufacturer and model number of your Wi-Fi adapter. You can usually find this information printed directly on the adapter. 2. Downloading the correct driver. Once you know your Wi-Fi adapter's details, go to the manufacturer's website, for example, Intel, Realtek, or others depending on your adapter. Search for the driver section and enter your adapter's model number. Download the driver package specific to your operating system. Windows 64-bit is most common. Make sure you're downloading the correct driver version for your operating system, Windows 10 or 11, for example. 3. Installing the driver. Once the driver download is complete, locate the downloaded file. Usually, it's an executable file, AXI. Double-click this file to start the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions carefully. This usually involves accepting the license agreement, choosing the installation directory, and letting the installer do its job. 4. Restart your computer. After the driver installation is complete, the installer might prompt you to restart your computer. If it doesn't, it's a good idea to restart your PC anyway to ensure all changes take effect. 5. Verify the installation. After the restart, check your network settings. You should now see your Wi-Fi adapter listed in the network adapters section. Your computer should automatically detect available Wi-Fi networks. If you can't find your Wi-Fi adapter, check your device manager. If it's listed with a yellow exclamation mark, there might be a problem with the driver installation. Try downloading the driver again from the manufacturer's website and reinstall it. If the problem persists, you might want to search online for specific troubleshooting steps for your adapter model or contact the manufacturer's support for further assistance. Remember, if you have a USB Wi-Fi adapter, ensure that it is properly connected to a USB port before proceeding with the installation steps. Also, always make sure that you are downloading the driver from the official website to avoid installing malware or corrupted drivers.